We're taking four minutes out of your fourth hour for the forecast. I'm Ethy. And I'm Stoyan. Get up. Why are you sleeping on the job? I'm tired. Bravo is so tiring. You wouldn't get it. Anyways, Women for Change will meet today from 2.35 to 4. They'll be watching Pride and Prejudice and talking about the spring donation drive. Everyone is welcome. The girls softball team beat Lakeville South 7 to 4 on Monday. Congrats to the girls who played out there. Keep up the good work. You know, not to brag, but ECU's on kind of a winning streak. Okay, one, how is it bragging if I also go here? And two, are you going to give me context or...? The robotics team went to the world's robotics competition in Houston this past weekend. Clearly, you're not a real robotics fan like me. Name one robot. We have some team members here to tell us about the trip. Hi, so I'm here with some members from our robotics team. Can you each tell me your names? Yeah, hi, I'm AB. Hi, I'm Ananya. And can you tell me a bit about like what robotics is and how it works here at Eastview? Yeah, so robotics here at Eastview is really diverse. We have multiple teams. Um, me and Ananya are part of the FRC team called the Cobalt Catalyst. And basically we spend all year in the summer building a pretty large robot and it competes in a bunch of different challenges. All right, thank you. And I know you guys went to World recently. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yeah, so it was a wonderful experience. And above all, it was an amazing opportunity for us to talk to a bunch of international teams, some from Azerbaijan, Israel, South America, Mexico, just to name a few. And it was just wonderful to talk to them and see what types of outreach we can do, see different robot designs and what we can improve next. All right. And what's next for robotics? Yeah, so our season this year is over, but we do do like community outreach. Um, we meet over the summer. And of course, like next year, we have our two regular competitions, um, our like mock tournament at Eastview, and possibly another trip to Worlds. All right, well, I'm sure you guys will make it to World again next year. Thank you guys for coming in and back to the anchors. All right, robotics seems kind of cool, but I still think you know practically nothing about it. I swear I love robotics. Whatever you say, pal. Speaking of love, the Eastview Letters of Love Club will have a meet had a meeting recently. I think we should go to the next one. What's Letters of Love Club? Wow, something Stoyan doesn't know. Shreya has the story. There is something special about receiving a physical letter. It's a tangible reminder that someone cares about you and is thinking of you even if they're not there or don't know you. Letters of Love is an organization that sends letters and handmade cards to kids that stay in hospitals for long periods of time. Here at Eastview, we have a Letters of Love club that meets once a month. It's a team of Eastview students who carefully craft each letter and card with love and care, and then send them out to kids in hospitals with the hope of brightening their day. Yeah, so I heard about Letters of Love from a friend from Minnetonka High School and I thought it would be a great opportunity to bring it to Eastview since there wasn't a Letters of Love branch attached to our school. Um, so I thought it would be a great way to bring people together that love um, being crafty and um, just being really thoughtful. So I thought it would be a great way to bring people together. <laughs> Well, that's all we have for you today, Eastview. See you next week for The, the Forecast. Forecast. The people that love us.